did you make, Sid? Stuffed mushrooms. Oh my gosh. You have ravioli something in the... Lasagna. Look like a lasagna of ravioli. Ravioli. Yeah. Ravioli bake. And they had these four children they had adopted. And then they had a son and daughter at their home. Mm. And the four children, there were two boys and two girls. They were all Amorations. Mm. And the only thing lower, I guess, um, than the black person would be. Happy birthday, dear dude. Happy, Happy birthday, dear Mommy. Happy birthday. Do we have four? Four. Two, four, three. Who's the deliverer? Who could be the deliverer? The deliverer to me. And then the Over there, and then um, mine was walking here, and um, she um stepped in dog poop. The, um, I didn't know if there was well, the um poop was over there. Speak. And I think there was a um poop, a pile of poop over here. <laughs> Thank you, Angel. Did she got it all in my car, didn't she? And we smelled something yeah. bad, and we thought it was Diamond's diaper, and we we're like, Shabine. We had to throw out the carpets in the back of the car. It was so gross. Yeah. Are you serious? Yep. Oh my gosh. Serious. Oh, Jackson, pedestrians were charged one cent, not five. Elisa's um telling the truth about a bird talking to her. <laughs> what? A bird talking to you. You said um, when we are going on a walk with you, um, there is this little bird oh. that we I said a little bird, birdie, her name is probably Kelsey, told me that you were in pajamas all day. Oh. And oh. then said, her, <laughs> it was a bird. You know what, Angel, that's a saying. People say that, come here. People say that when they, um, <laughs> I don't want to tell you who told them. So I could say something like this. I could, I could say that. Shadow found a wasp. It's dying. What did you do to it, Shaddy? <laughs> Sorry, let him go outside because he just wants to escape all the time. And he usually finds his way back, so. Hopefully that net doesn't change. What do you hear? Do you hear some noises? So skinny. Jeremy Garden? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Bring the stairs up, bring the dirt in here, instead of putting it on the floor. Oh. Well, he got a lot of it on the floor. Oh. <laughs> He's not a very clean gardener, is he? Oh, man. Ow. I'm just helping. You're just helping. That's so nice of you. Hey, Angel, where do you live? Um, next to you. Next to us? Do you live over there? Mm-hmm. That's so cool. Yes, I just moved. Since you just moved. Yeah. Once in Fort Thomas, I'm showing you Uh huh. I'm just in um, a different um, road. Right. That's right. Different road in Kentucky. Who lives with you? Um, Mama. 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 My sisters and my baby sister. My dad. My dad's sad because he only has me and Diamond and Mom to take care of. Can you move those weeds? Sure. So I can sleep. 
Oh, Your dad's he... sad, but now now he has to take care of Shemai and Noga too, right? No, he didn't want to um take care of him. He wants to go back to um, Israel. Oh. Is he going to do that soon? Yeah, she's going to go there soon with me and her. And Diamond's going to be going crazy. Yeah, because she miss, she'll miss her daddy, huh? Yeah. She is going to go crazy heck. Crazy heck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, am I allowed to say heck? Yeah, that's not a bad word. I mean, Diamond. Here, can I, can I um, take, here, I'm going to slide the oh. towel underneath. So remember what Jesus is doing is he is he is showing them how much he loves them. So I got a song about how much Jesus loves them. Oh us. yeah. I thought we could sing. Okay. You want to pass that? To he came to Simon Peter, who said to him, "Lord, do you wash my feet?" Jesus answered him, "What I am doing, you do not understand now, but afterward you will understand." Peter said to him, You shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, The one who is bathed does not need to wash except for his feet, but is completely clean. And you are all clean, but mm. not every one of you. For he knew who was to betray him. That was why he said, Not all of you are clean. <laughs> or it's what by is how hilarious. I, I know, it's by how moral we are. Like how much we keep all the rules. That's how the moral Christians, right? I think it's how many verses we memorize. Mm. Yeah, that's <laughs> how many I verses. got an A in this Bible B. Or how often we go to church. Heaven. Yeah, without you go to church, that's how people will know you're a disciple. Mm -hmm. I give it all to you, love, trusting that you'll make something beautiful out of me. I lean on my own understanding. My life is in the hands of the maker of heaven. Which are the five chapters? we just read. It's another title for those five chapters. What was it? I guess the title. Upper Room Dis Discourse. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Right. And um, I've, I've never preached all of them. I've preached some of them. But it, that changed my um, understanding and appreciation for those five chapters mm -hmm. ever since then. So that's over 30 years ago. Wow. But it stuck with me. Mm -hmm. The second thing is, um, when I sing this song and we've gone through this and my heart's already been stirring the last several weeks, I'm about ready to enter Lord willing, my seventh decade. And the Lord has sort of in my life, for whatever reason, um, led me into new chapters for each decade in my life, and especially since I've been an adult. And so I'm anticipating a new chapter in this seventh decade. And he's already stirring some things that may be coming, but um, I'm just excited what all for Jesus means mm. in my 70s. Wow. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> We're playing now!